Hey everyone, welcome back to Windows Fixer. In today's video, I'll show you how to convert your drive from MBR to GPT without losing any data. This is super important if you're planning to enable secure boot, TPM, or want to install Windows 11 on supported hardware. So if you're stuck on MBR and can't turn on UEFI or install Win11, this guide is for you. Before we begin, always create a system restore point and back up important files just in case something goes wrong. I've tested this on many systems, but still, proceed at your own risk. Also, converting the partition style doesn't wipe your files, but accidents can happen, so better safe than sorry. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell so you don't miss any future fixes and tutorials. Now let's get into it. Alright, before anything else, make sure your PC supports UEFI boot. That means you should have at least an Intel i5 8th gen or Ryzen 2000 series CPU or higher. Why? because older systems only support legacy BIOS and GPT needs UEFI to work properly. Also, if you're planning to enable Secure Boot or TPM, both features require GPT. This method will help you unlock those features without reinstalling Windows. Go to your desktop, right-click on the Start button and select Disk Management. Now, look for the disk that has your operating system, usually Disk 0. Right-click on it and select Properties. Go to the Volumes tab and look for the line that says Partition Style. If it says MBR, Master Boot Record, then you're in the right place. If it already says GPT, you don't need this video. Now let's check if your system supports UEFI. Search for System Information in the Start menu and open it. Look for a line that says BIOS Mode. If it says UEFI, perfect. Your system is ready. If it says Legacy, that means your PC can't use UEFI unless you change settings in BIOS, or worse, your motherboard is too old. Before converting, check if BitLocker is turned on, because the tool can't work properly if your disk is encrypted. Search for Manage BitLocker from the Start menu. If it says BitLocker is on, you'll need to turn it off before continuing. Now we'll use a built-in Windows tool called MBR2GPT.exe. This is a Microsoft tool designed to convert your drive to GPT without losing any files. But it has strict rules. The drive must have only three or fewer partitions and it must be a system disk. To start, search for Command Prompt, right click on it, and choose Run as Administrator. Now in the Command window, type this command, mbr2gpt-validate. This checks if your disk meets the conditions for conversion. If it says validation completed successfully, you're good to go. If there's an error, like too many partitions or BitLocker issues, stop here and fix those first. Now run the conversion command, mbr2 gpt slash convert. This will begin converting the drive from mbr to gpt. It usually takes a few seconds and your files stay untouched. Once it's done, you'll see conversion completed successfully. Now restart your PC and enter BIOS or UEFI settings. You can usually do this by pressing DEL, F2, or ESC right after turning on your PC. Once you're in BIOS, look for the boot mode, legacy mode, or CSM setting. Change that to UEFI, so make sure to select it and save your changes. This is really important because Secure Boot and TPM will only work when your system is set to UEFI. Without UEFI, they won't even show up. Next, go to the Advanced tab in BIOS. Look for the Windows OS configuration. Here you need to make sure the setting is UEFI and not CSM. If it's set to CSM, you won't see the Secure Boot option because Secure Boot only works with UEFI mode. Once it's set to UEFI, you'll now see the option to enable Secure Boot. Go ahead and enable it. This step is crucial as Secure Boot enhances security and will now be active after the conversion. Now let's move on to TPM. Go to the Security tab in BIOS, look for TPM, also known as FTPM on some systems. Simply enable it, TPM is a requirement for Windows 11, and enabling it here will allow you to meet those requirements. Make sure to save this setting as well. Once you've made these changes, UEFI, Secure Boot, and TPM enabled, save your BIOS settings and exit. Your system will reboot and Windows should boot normally without any issues. If this video helped you out, leave a like and share it with someone still stuck on MBR. And remember, don't blindly follow random tweaks without knowing what they do. Stick with Windows Fixer and we'll do it safe and smart. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.